Well, what you got to remember X, is that uh, long term and long range, the specific fields of integrity uh, within a combat scenario could be implausibly catastrophic in a realm of systems stretching out infinitely almost throughout, throughout the whole world. So really we're dealing with options here which have to be met by a number of solutions because, you know, the range of targets on, on systematic processes analyzed by the main systems is indubitably dangerous at a high field level of knowledge. So you've got to remember, you can ascertain as much information or skullduggery into idolatry as you like, but safety in numbers won't support you or defend you when you're all rotting and dying in your own bile and mucus. The thing you gotta remember is that Hitler was not a great man. He was not a hero. He was not a great man. He was an angry, funny little weirdo. And he didn't like a lot of people, and he killed a lot of people. And there's nothing cool about that if you're spiritually aware at the highest zenith of reality. If you're spiritually in tune at the highest zenith of pertainable reality as a mortal under God, shall we say, hypothetically, knowing that he is there because I have attained that level, then you just gotta remember that these big men who go around bullying people, they're just the schoolyard bully in hands in a new realm. They, yeah, sometimes they were the ones bullied at school, they were the nerds, the dweebs, the geeks, the losers, right? And they got into a position of power using their noggin and they go a little bit funky. Okay? So you got Putin, you got Putin in charge of Russia, who's being a very aggressive little pit ball of uh, extraneous forms these days and uh, I wouldn't put it past him to be a mentalist enough to deploy a nuclear system in one or one, maybe two targets, I don't know. But uh, let's just say I don't want to be on the receiving end of one of those bad boys. But neither do I wish to kowtow to the demonic evil of Putin. So what you got to do is you got to draw a line in the sand as a rational, sensible, intelligent human being. You got to go, no, I'm not getting involved in that. And no, I'm not getting involved with them. And no, I don't want that, that, that to happen. So fuck you all, okay? There's nothing cool about war, you know? If someone comes up to you, you don't fucking get a knife and stab them in the eye, do you? Because you're, you're civilized, you're a human being, you're decent, you're born, raised, and beautiful by mothers and parents who care for you and love you. You're not an asshole, you're not a goddamn chaff, alright? So if you're going around killing people, you're mentally deficient. You're, you're somehow deranged, you're evil now. You've been corrupted, you've been brainwashed. The Bible says, in those days they shall be more learned but unable to know the truth. What's another word of saying that? That means they're brainwashed. The modern people are brainwashed. I was one of the few who broke the code after taking a major LSD. And uh, I've completely disrupted the fragmentation of my entire psychology. So what I can perceive now in reality is a much deeper level of awareness on the supernatural plane of understanding a divine field than mortals can begin to attain. And that's why I'm telling you. It doesn't matter what happens, we've got to rough this out, man. Because Putin can't be allowed to win. Win? Win? What is this game of children? Oh my god, grow up, citizens of humanity. There is no winning or losing in war. If you want your loved ones get shot or killed, you will have a major sense of humor failure. So the greatest warrior is the peacekeeper. Putin was a great peacekeeper in the 90s, but he's gone do lolly in his early years. He's probably somewhat senile and has got delusions of grandeur. But we've got to rough this out because we cannot afford to lose the ones we love, which is pretty much everyone in the world when you're super spiritual.